I'm Don Badam from SampleLibraryReview.com and I'm very excited. Today we're taking a look at Transport from Refractor Audio. Transport is the first instrument from Refractor Audio. It is a contact player instrument, meaning it is compatible with a full and free version of contact. The library weighs in at just under four gigabytes. Uh, the the 2000 samples contained in the library were crafted by Clayton. You may know him as Cell Dweller. And from what I can tell, the majority of these samples come from his studio's analog gear. He has a ton of Moog and Juno and Prophet and a whole bunch of modular synths. Transport weights a uh, five step sequencing hybrid instrument and there's been so many hybrid instruments out lately uh, over the last year or so I was a little suspicious until I started playing around with it. I love the way that they have crafted this interface. I love the sounds. It's very modern and contemporary yet it is I don't I don't quite want to say timeless because it is an electronic-y kind of instrument. Transport is divided into drum loops. A folder of effects loops. Some live drum presets. of one shots <laughs> scoring percussion <laughs> synth bass loops synth loops. On the pros, this library is a very focused in its tonal canvas. Uh, it's very modular synths, loops, and phrases. The sequencer allows you to really craft and manipulate these uh, sounds to make them your own. Also another big pro is that if you're a registered user, you get free download of all the samples in the instrument as WAV files. On the cons, um, you know, it's funny that it's almost the same as the, the pros. It's a very tonally focused. It, it's very much a modular synth kind of timbres throughout, with the exception of those live drums, which are a really nice additive. Transport sells for 250 US dollars, currently intro price of 199, I believe. With Transport, I know that Clayton uh, Cell Dweller has been working on creating the sample set, I believe for three years or so. So check the link in the description below for more info, a full written review, as well as any official videos or demos I find. If you want to continue watching, um, I just filmed myself doing my first look, playing through a good chunk of the sound sets, if you want to hear what they sound like. these loops they're uh, really funky um, and what's really cool about the instrument here is these are the five different step sequencers one for volume one for a delay sound
one for cutoff. and one for pitch. Of course, the pitch probably makes quite a bit more sense on a, uh, a tonal instrument, although with loops, you could get quite a bit of variations. So you can see there's uh, quite a few of these drum loops. There's 13 loops. Effects loops here. Let's check out some of these. So there, that, that effects loop has some tonality to it. So let's play around with the pitch step sequencer there. pretty cool uh, there's uh, there's 10 contact presets of a live drum uh, loops and phrases here Pretty cool. There's a folder of one shots. It says base one shots. Base a tonal. So very kind of kind of uh, monstery drum and bass kind of effects there. Uh, one shot drum crashes. Drum kicks. Also, uh, one shot effects. There's dozens of these presets in the one shot folder. Uh, one called Gut Punchers. Actually, there's three Gut Punchers. Let's see what these are. Pretty cool, there's some impacts. I just saw this, uh, sh one shot falls and spin downs. Let's take a listen to that. Of cool stuff there a little more you know transformery than um, than a lot of stuff I would use 
but definitely if you need that style uh, or if you're doing any kind of electronica or a hybrid that could work really well score percussion let's see what these are about <laughs> I'm really digging the transport sound. Um, some of it does sound very contemporary, you know, in a in that uh, hybrid way. Other stuff does sound oh, contemporary, but I dare say not so right on the money. Like it doesn't just sound like one particular genre or another. It's probably because of the way that uh, these were crafted. Sellwellers. Uh, Clayton, he's got this amazing studio with tons of outboard synth, uh, a lot of a lot of modular synth stuff that he sampled for that. Here's the synth bass loops. I imagine that these come straight out of the the modular synths he uses. Let's listen to some of them. And the last folder is a synth. Let's check some of these. Those atonal ones there, those that's that's kind of the stuff I like to do if I'm if I'm needing to do something crazy electronic kind of sounding. I really love that kind of sound. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there's an official walkthrough video to give you all the details about this. You've got the ability to load up several of these uh, kind of sequence settings that he's already created. You can see here, um, each of these will load up the different sequencers. Also got the ability to change whether you know, how many steps you have. Uh, you can do random or in order. As far as a hybrid instrument goes, the one thing I can say, the pro about transport here, is it's very focused. The, the tonal, you know, canvas, you're able to paint with it. Um, it, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's narrow. I'm gonna say that it is broad in its specific genre. It really has a, it really encompasses so much of what's exciting about electronic music, especially if you're scoring and you need to add just a bit of electronic, or if you're just doing it kind of a open electronic kind of score. 
uh, and you're not you know you don't have a huge amount of outboard gear I personally don't have any synth myself I don't use any outboard synths I don't have modular synths this is a great way for you to get a lot of that sound and manipulate it so you can make it your own even though they are uh, loops and phrases the ability to have this step sequencer with pitch delays and volume really lets you control and craft it on the cons the cons are going to kind of be the same as the pros at least the first one it is a very genre specific in i don't want to say genre it's very timbre specific it's lots of bleeps and blips and distorted uh kind of synthy sounds the live drums is really cool and that's refreshing to have those in there the score percussion i kind of thought you know kind of thought maybe i'd there'd be a little bit more organic sounds through there um I'll, i need to flip through them all i don't want to judge it too harshly because i haven't heard every single sample set uh but I kind of was hoping that maybe there'd be some toms, some big toms, some big different uh, Tyco ensemble kind of loops and stuff like that. But it did stick to, or at least the ones I've previewed here, it very much stuck to uh, the, the timbre palette, this electronic modular synth transported, <laughs> if I can be so bold, into a contact instrument for us all to have. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I, I'm digging it. One thing we have to remember um, when criticizing these developers is, uh, you know, with this one in particular, I know Clayton has been recording and creating this sample set for two or three years, I believe. Uh, the other big, another pro that I'll list real quick uh, is that the when you do register the instrument it is a contact player instrument uh, you go in and you can register on the refractor audio website and you can get every single one of these as a download as a wave file as well so that's really cool that he gives that away in addition to having it so if you're a sound designer i know or uh you know you probably tend to gravitate towards that or i know a lot of composers even who stick to using waves that they bring in um, for impacts and effects and things like that to mix in their score uh, so that's really cool that you get that in addition thanks for checking out the video we'd love your support head over to sample library reviews patreon page this is a place for both users and developers to help us continue to create videos like this for you.